Shalom to the elect of Yah Shalom. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe of Yah Shalom, which consists of these so called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native Indians. We start off by giving a much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Raka Kudas, Koloi La, Abu Nawa Allah, Nawa Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Raka Kudas. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring and work. Shalom to you, believers, to the Akim, the Akwa. Which will be your brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to the truth. I provide to that lessons edifying and plain upon the tables. I'm your brother Malkaya out here in Pasadena, Texas, 77504 Branch. All right. So we're going to go into our, our end time headline. It says here that Iraq or Iraq to end all dollar cash. Withdrawals by January 1st, 2024. Iraq will ban cash withdrawals and transactions in United States dollars as of January 1st, 2024. In the latest push to curb the the, the Slovakia, let me start from the beginning. Iraq will ban cash withdrawals and transactions. In United States dollars as of January 1st, 2024, and the latest push to curb the misuse of its hard currency reserves and financial crimes and the evasion of United States sanctions on Iraq, a top Iraqi Central Bank official said. So... I'm not going to read too much into it. You know, the, the title itself speaks loud and clear. So let's start off with um, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 19. In the KJV, they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them. In the day of the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels. Right, feed yourself. Right, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity, of their sin upon sins, their wickedness. We're gonna get in the NOT, and then I'm gonna break it down. Make it plain upon the tables for you believers, for the elect. In the New Living Translation, it goes into, they will throw their money in the streets. Right? Who? Those who have put their trust in Egypt. Those who are all about the dollar. I'm all about the bag. I'm all about the money. I'm chasing a bag. I'm, I'm where the money is at. You know, a simple, typical Jake and Eve so-called black, Hispanic, Latino, Native Indian, here in America especially. That's all about the money, right? You're all about the cash, right? These are going to be the same people that put all their time, their effort, that was willing to um, ruin their reputation, ruin their health, their body, their vagina, just for some, some bullshit-ass paper notes, I guess you can say. Right, who worship money like it was a god, right? They would throw their money in the streets, tossing it out like worthless trash. Their silver and gold won't save them on the day of the Lord's anger. No amount of dollars, two dollar bills, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, twenty dollar bills, hundred dollar bills, what your credit score looks like. Precious jewels and necklaces and golds you have in your savings, your 401k, retirement fundings, right? There's no amount of money 
currency that can buy your way out of judgment from Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, the very God in the Bible and the Messiah in the Bible. All right, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. It said it will neither satisfy them. Salaki, Salaki. It said it will neither satisfy nor feed them. Right, fill their bowels, for their greed can only trip them up. So in the times you're coming into, that money that you was all about is not going to be able to feed you. You won't be able to get food. You won't be able to get water. You won't be able to get medicine. You won't be able to get tampons. You won't be able to get your, your favorite strong drinks. Your yin yang, your Hennessy, your beer, your wine, and etc. You won't be able to get uh, baby formula products if you got children, you know, Pampers, baby food, Pedialyte, and etc. Right? No, the, the the time will come where the dollar will collapse. It will collapse. It may not be January first, but it will collapse at some point. America will experience something known as a economic collapse. The dollar will collapse at some point, and a lot of people are going to have to learn the hard way. All right, you're going to have to learn the hard way when no amount of money, no amount of dollars, the credit card, paper checks, debit card, credit cards, PayPal cards, burnt uh, prepaid cards, right, won't be able to get you your food, your victuals, your basic ne necessity, your basic commodities. You won't be able to pay for your amenities, your provisions. All right. You can't do nothing without it. It's, it's useless. The money is, is useless, man. All right. I'm going to read it again. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 19, New Living Translation. They will throw their money into streets, tossing out like worthless trash. Their silver and gold won't save them on the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shah's anger. It will neither satisfy nor feed them. For their greed can only trip them up. And it's okay. You don't got to believe me. At the end of the day, the Lord's word will come to pass. Uh, let me get this very quick. Ezekiel 33, verse 33. I'm going to start off with the KJV first. And then we can get in the NLT of Ravazaza. You put the spirit on me to remember. All right, so Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33, King James Version. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. For an example, the dollar be completely done away with. All right. Iraq to end all dollar cash withdrawals by January 1st, 2024. Okay. Now, no man knoweth but the Father himself, only Yahweh. Our Heavenly Father knows exactly when each event is going to happen. That is a particular time. Each vision that's jet from the appointed time. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3, for an example. Okay, just paraphrasing. And when, Salakia, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they, who is the day? You non believers, you Americans, those who put their trust in America. You, you believe in any and all philosophies and doctrines other than the one and only true doctrine, the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahushar, okay? Two thirds of our nation and you other nations. And then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. All right, let's get this in the New Living Translation. And it reads But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will. For example, you won't be able to feed yourself, provide yourself, purchase your your day-to-day -day needs like food, water, being able to pay to have a roof over your head, right? To live comfortably, right? But when all these terrible things happen to them, when the dollar collapse, right? For example, as they certainly will, then they will know a profit has been among them. All right, the biggest I told you so out of all I told you so is about to come upon this earth, especially here in America real soon. 
All right. The dollar will collapse at some point. We don't know when, but it will end at some point. And Navarrete is out sooner than sooner, I guess you can say. <laughs> All right. So Navarrete is out the lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. All right. Let's close out by giving a much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechav, and us. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, Sensei Akim, that's laboring and works. And shalom to you, believers, to the Akim, Wahakwat, which will be your brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to the truth. DTA, Ababa Bassoon, Kwam Yashallah.